Hey guys, welcome. It's covert extract time, and these ones are usually a little bit quicker. Quicker, that's the way. Quicker than others. So I want to make sure I do them right. And also it's sort of nice that you're getting the pre-mission and post-mission in the same episode, because otherwise it ends up being a few minutes. So I think that the things you care about are Exult, Overwatching against you, Suppression, and a mech who could just run the Overwatch would both be good, I think. And then clearing the cover, so an engineer. So I just suit Zeranoglu up in the mech too. If we weren't flying low before, we sure as hell are now. You know, I bet that if I just sent four mechs, I could kill them all. I don't have four mechs, but... It's actually really tempting to try just sending a three mech team and clearing the map one of these times. Uh, it's not going to be this time. I don't have all my mechs available. So like I was saying, I'm just going to give this guy... Actually, I'll give him an alien trophy. Just in case he gets shot and panics. I'll bring Hall to lead the mission. Make use of her motion tracker. Or battle, battle scanners. That's the one. And then I need one engineer, just to make sure I can clear cover. Hmm. That's all I got, huh? Two out of six engineers. We've got some wounded engineers. Oh, and two inside training, okay. I do have some wounded engineers, so I'm gonna bring a higher mobility rookie. Ruslan Makarov will do fine. And just give this guy alien grenades. And ideally, if he could grab a kill, I think he'd level up. But if he doesn't, that's okay. And then I want a gunner. I've got some low level gunners. All that Gutierrez needs to do is be a suppression bot. So, uh, I should bring Rahimi. Experience should be going on Rahimi, not good ears. Rahimi just looks like such a pleasant person. Alright, so there you go. There's an extract team that actually involved some amount of thinking. It's a new thing I'm trying out. We're aiming to eliminate an exalt cell currently operating out of South Africa. We'll need to move in and assist our operative in acquiring the necessary data. Okay, this one can be a lot of fun. I don't have jumpy legs. Jumpy legs is amazing on this one. Anyway, it's... It's a map with a lot of walls and stuff. So it's the sort of map where grenades to blow up a wall are pretty reasonable and potentially you can jump up on the rooftop just to get out of vision stuff like that strike one will need to protect the operative while they finish decrypting the exalt data from the other relays one two we lose any chance of recovering that Intel objectives updated I think I might just uh I'll spend one turn to improve my position, but I think I'm pretty much just going to run through this map. Next turn I can blue move here. Uh, it seems like I can get a little bit closer so that I can blue move to the other side. Does that even do anything? 
Maybe it does. Okay. Probably it doesn't. And these guys get to just chill out for this mission. But I'm very proud of them for coming, of course. I could, like, send Zeranoglu in just to pull enemy fire or something. Pull enemy grenades. I'm not fussed. He doesn't think that he's alone here. He's advancing on the position. <laughs> the first one. The first one displayed a. Our operative hacked the system and decrypted some of their data, while also disrupting Exalt's communications. We should continue looking for any other relays nearby. A considerably higher level of understanding of Spanish, I think, than the second one. Let's just... There's gonna be a guy right here or something, I guess. This is a good practice for working out what the motion tracker is actually saying. See, I can't see that guy. It says he's... Oh, he's there. Okay. There's going to be a guy over here somewhere, too. Um, it's just the tiniest bit risky. So I could have improved this by moving the rest of my team over this way. Fortunately, they're both heavies, so... I think that that's the mission. It's a long way to run, but he runs pretty fast. I'm just going to cluster everybody up so that if somehow a grenade gets thrown at us, I make sure that we take as much damage as possible. Keep in mind I don't even have to get out this turn. Like, their guns are all unloaded. <laughs> I could go for the, uh... Ooh. Saucy. Oh, I forgot to... Run somebody up to help pull overwatches. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter, because he's standing next to the comm relay. I'm such a genius. I'm so good at this game. All the comm relays in this area, Commander. The data is fully decrypted. We need to move the operative to the evac point for extraction. He runs so fast. He runs so fast. Look at this guy. How could I get that kill? There are five medics <laughs> deployed right now. There are six medics. Six out of nine exalt are medics. I'm not going to end the mission this turn. Instead, I'm going to grab a kill here. Unless this grenade really duds out. Cool. Alright. Got the data. And we promoted a rookie. In this turn, if somebody's overwatching, I can just run the overwatch with the mech. <laughs> Ooh, I get another kill. Good work, Zaranoglu. 
Maybe one more. So what's going on here? Here. My gunner can get this kill, I'd like it on him. Gunners have trouble getting experience. Cool. I guess it's time to leave. That was a nice little mission though. Got some uh our operative and the intel are both secure. You can either have strike one remain in the area to eliminate any other hostile units, or get them back to the evac zone. Got some mini objectives at the end there. Is my game volume down again? Let me see if I can fix that. Okay, I don't think I can fix that this recording. Could agree if the volume levels are wrong, but I do know how to fix it. I just have to finish this recording first. Maybe it's not that bad? Hmm. A flawless effort. Not a single casualty. I don't know. We'll see. Exalt Intel decryption complete. Eliminating statistical improbabilities for possible Exalt locations. I got two mel, do you guys? So... <laughs> I... Ooh, wait a second. That's saucy. I'm gonna improve my arc thrower. Especially as I have a mini quest of capturing a muton. This will be nice. And then I think We're I be keeping the boys down in the foundry busy. I'll let them know you've got another project ready for production. <laughs> I messed up the volume on my end. I'm going to change that now. Okay. Hopefully now I don't feel like I'm struggling to talk over the sound in my headphones. Lance power armor does require 40 Illyrium. Servometers is going to require stuff too. Eh. Well, we'll uh, go with Improved Arc Thrower for a second and then probably move to something else in not too long. So I don't actually have any Illyrium at the moment. I've got 268 credits lying around, but those are going to disappear. Eventually I'll have Advanced Surgery ready to go. All right. So all looks good. Let's play the game. Ah, never mind. Let's not play the game. We're gonna get one laser cannon on you, but not yet. When do we get a laser cannon? Like four days or something? Four days. Okay. Oh, but we need to name them. Then we can play the game. Raven 19, Jayhawk Bell. Fortunately, I haven't lost an interceptor yet. Oh, this is terror mission number two, I guess. Bangs out. Disengaging. Is that the harvest? No, it can't be the harvest. Skeleton key. Contact 
Ooh. Alright, this is a bombing run. So if I can close on it at all, I only get one shot at bringing this down. Cool. Someday I'll work out how to actually crash land UFOs, and that'll be really swell. Start getting like some missions and stuff. I don't know if you guys are into those. <sighs> I got a decent chunk of Illyrium and alloys out of that, I think. Oh no, I got the rebate from the skeleton key. Never mind. So the mechtoid autopsy gives me advanced servometers available in the foundry. I can also build tactical sensors, which are really, really good, but also very expensive. Uh, next up, I think we just go back to advanced power armor, although I could grab the cyberdisc autopsy for iron skin. That's a gene mod which gives plus one damage reduction. It's pretty, pretty powerful having plus one damage reduction. Actually, once I finish Titan armor and give my soldiers plus one damage reduction, I'm just gonna have like ten mechs every mission. <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> pretty sick. Uh, I'm just gonna finish up advanced power armor though. And I think that everybody should be pretty much on schedule as far as the base assault around about around about when Hicks comes out of wound time Oh, Foundry, Advanced Servometers. So it requires more Illyrium, more Alloys, and more Meld. So I could cancel something and get it. I don't think it's a huge priority. It's very, very strong, but it's not that useful on base assaults. And it's also not that useful until I get punch modules. So I'll just sit on what we've got right now. Psy Warfare Systems? That's an interesting idea. Let me think about what this would give me and whether I want it right now. Okay, my opinion is that soon it will be time for Psy Warfare Systems, but that that time is not quite yet. A lot of cool stuff going on here at XCOM HQ. I'm gonna finish uh, getting my mechs as fully upgraded as possible. Well, not quite that much. I'm gonna spend a little more time on my mechs and then, because I'm about to get tactical rigging unlocked with uh, Muton Elite Autopsy, which I'll have enough corpses for after this base assault, uh, my soldiers are all going to get one more equipment slot, and that's going to mean that I need to invest a little bit in upgrading equipment. It may be time, for example, for some sheet and plating. It's not too expensive. Or some combat stims, or some black ammo or there's lots of cool stuff that we can potentially build and once I get side warfare systems the number of things I can do to specialize soldiers just goes up astronomically wait got a fighter over Argentina 
So I think this is the second out of only two hunts this month. Approaching target now. Hey, that's fine. I don't need to freak out about Contact detected. using a tracking module for this interception. Enemy is Maybe I should have sent the guy I wanted to kill on second. Closing on target. Probably I should have done that. Oh. Oh, we have a mission. Well, this is exciting. Wait 12 hours for my Master Sergeant Valkyrie. What did I take? I took absorption fields, right? Yeah. Meh. Um, I don't think I need to do that. I think the Pathfinder and Jaeger will be just fine for this mission. I need to scan for exalts on the... When did I clear exalt? <laughs> kind of in that long ago, right? Like two days. I'm gonna scan for them on the 22nd of November. We're just gonna make that up. Wait, I scan on the 11th. Okay, plus five, 15th, 22nd. But there was only one cell. I'm gonna go for a scan on the 23rd-ish. Sometime around there. When there's only one skull, you can scan every nine days after the mission. I think I might just send straight away here. Probably wanna keep these guys out of fatigue. Ooh, actually, hmm, I have eight days. I was gonna say I could Okay, there's so much stuff going on. I need to wait probably another five days before I launch a satellite over Africa. I need at least two laser cannon interceptors ready to go. Although the hunts are done for the month. I think. Whatever. I'm just gonna equip a team It doesn't seem like I have to spend all this time freaking out. It's a pretty simple mission. Alai Wolo will actually hit Sprinter off this so I can start putting gene mods on my covert ops. work out who else goes. Let's bring the bad sniper. <laughs> Wouldn't mind more experience on Sasaki and I'll go with I think a second rocketeer is the biggest thing you can do to decrease the chance that something goes wrong for a weaker squad. Definitely could improve the game by making soldiers remember loadouts. Amelie's gonna be just fine like this. It's probably a little bit overkill though. Let's just keep her safe. One Jaeger and one Pathfinder. Yeah, I'm gonna give the Jaeger a mist. And this is gonna be a defensive mech for this mission. I'll give it plating just in case so I don't have to worry about babysitting it too much, but the Pathfinder is gonna be the dude. 
I'm really looking to to deal all the damage. Eli Wola just needs to not get killed. I don't have an engineer on the mission right now. I need to fix that. It takes a while to warm up sometimes. Also don't have a gunner. I don't have an engineer because there isn't one. So I could just wait 19 hours for Portillo. I think I have to do that. Okay, we're going to wait. Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. This is the third of three and a half abductions, as far as I know. I'm starting to wonder if this is a higher resource month than I allotted for. Anyway, this is a, a scarier mission by quite a lot. I think I can afford to send on Gano on this one. He'll be... Yeah, he'll be back up right about the right time. I can actually... Wasn't my... Yeah, I can send a good Valk too. Wait, one hour? Oh, I can send the Guardian too. That's perfect. Valk, Guardian. So wait, six hours. Exhaust and when, because I want to bring the arc thrower on every mission right now. Ooh, I think I want these though. That's interesting. It's quite an expensive two scientists. Sure. Okay, let's get rid of this team entirely and start over. So we've got one sniper, one Valkyrie, one Guardian. It's a good start. Oh, they're all down here now though. I'm gonna bring Amelie to shoot rockets. I would like a gunner now that I'm like really fighting real things. Sniper, Rocketeer, Gunner. Some sort of support that's gonna be Mr. Nguyen. I probably don't wanna dip into weaker soldiers deliberately here. I'm gonna bring Campbell. I'm gonna give him shredder ammo probably. Let's keep putting experience on Pang, I guess. I'm still planning to chop his limbs off someday, though. Okay, we need to make items available. This is an urban large structure. I don't have a scout on this mission. In fact, I don't currently have battle scanners, I don't think. We're at battle scanner. Just barely. Good. work out what I'm doing here. I guess if I don't have a sniper, I'll just go alloy strike rifle. Or don't have a scout, rather. So the Valkyrie is going to be ranged fire support. I can give him a flamethrower, though, because I do have the Guardian on the mission. Get his health up a little higher too. And my guardian. Do that. Got one rocketeer. No, this looks good. One gunner. 
Just doing gunner things. Lance Corporal gunners. How do they work? It's amazing, like... Once she has hollow targeting, she doesn't get noticeably stronger until... Gunnery Sergeant? Probably? Yeah. I will bring the Arc Thrower... Wherever it is. Is it still damaged? That's so rude. I won't bring the arc thrower. But still, I want an engineer on the mission for sure. Let's go with... Just more grenades. I'm gonna try out the high explosive grenades. They have a wider area of effect now that I have alien grenades researched. So since I do have sapper, if I'm looking to remove cover from a ton of aliens at once, they could be pretty useful. Did I give my gunner a scope? No, I gave her a tracker, but we already have another one. That's right. It's hard to get going sometimes. Hard to get going. Okay. I think the volume's actually okay, but I'll have to check between missions here. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for... Dum dum dum. Prepare for deployments. Operation Fading Gift. The next deployment site is in the UK. Shall we wait? The alien abductions are becoming more brazen every day. We've got reports coming in of attacks in broad daylight. We're the only ones who can respond to this threat, so we should get down there. We can wait, I guess. Alright, I'll see you there.